The Rockbridge County Sheriff's Office responded to over 130 calls about domestic violence reports last year. We come in and we're like shite knights in shining armor and sometimes you get in there and, the, and the, the person who's been victimized or bullied for so long is finally able to vent and feel safe about it. And then you never know really what happens after you've made the arrest and you've gone to court. Sheriff's Office Investigator Miles Kelly says he informs victims of local Somebody resources and services like Project Horizon. Project Horizon started an expansion of their emergency victim shelter, Lisa's House, two weeks ago. We've been planning the expansion for about seven or eight years. We've just sort of been sitting on the plans till we felt like the time was right in the economy. We have several more things that we want our program to do, places we want to grow, and, so, and we needed more space to do it. Project Horizon Executive Director Judy Castile says the expansion adds a child advocacy center, a training room, a play therapy room for children, a male apartment area, and more living space for residents in Lisa's house. It doesn't add capacity as far as bed capacity, but it does add a it adds an opportunity for our programs to grow. The renovations, which include adding another story to the building, will be completed in October. For the Rockbridge Report, I'm CeCe Smith.